The streets of New York City are flooded. Water invades homes and businesses. Subway tunnels are filled to the brim. It looks like a scene from a disaster movie, but could this be the city's future as seas rise? New York faces a severe threat from coastal flooding driven by climate change. And the city has a radical $52 billion solution, completely re-engineering its vulnerable coastline with massive seawalls and barriers. But is this walling off the city from the sea a smart move or a costly mistake? Either way, it's set to be the largest infrastructure project in New York's history. Stay tuned as we dive into the ambitious and controversial plan to climate-proof America's largest city with epic seaward defenses. And don't forget to subscribe to Tech Blazer for more similar content. New York City's 520 miles of coastline have always been integral to its success, but now that vast shoreline poses a dire threat. Rising seas and intensifying storms driven by climate change could cause catastrophic flooding across the city's vulnerable waterfront neighborhoods and infrastructure. Sea levels around New York are projected to rise 1 to 4 feet by 2100. Even just one foot of sea level rise would double the frequency of damaging floods. This risk is not theoretical. Hurricane Sandy provided a sobering preview in 2012. Sandy's 14-foot storm surge swamped streets, submerged subway tunnels, sparked explosions at power substations, and caused $70 billion in damage citywide. 44 New Yorkers lost their lives in the massive floods. Climate experts say another Sandy-like storm could displace up to 800,000 residents temporarily. To combat the threat of catastrophic flooding, New York City has proposed its largest infrastructure project ever, a $52 billion system of seawalls, levees, floodgates, and other barriers to shield exposed coastlines. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers developed the plan to create a resilient system protecting New York Harbor, the East River Coast, the south shore of Staten Island, and the vulnerable southern tip of Manhattan. These zones are at the highest risk of inundation that could cripple both neighborhoods and critical infrastructure. The scope of the project is staggering. It includes building a five-mile-long seawall across the Verrazano Narrows between Brooklyn and Staten Island to protect the inner harbor. Smaller, movable storm barriers would be installed between Brooklyn, Queens, and Manhattan. A 10-foot-high seawall would also reinforce the lower Manhattan coastline. These fortified structures are designed to prevent floodwaters from swallowing 110,000 residents and 47,000 buildings worth over $80 billion. They would shield vulnerable highways, subway tunnels, sewage plants, hospitals, and other vital infrastructure that serves millions daily. The barriers aim to protect 70% of New York's critical infrastructure from being knocked out of commission by flooding. Constructing these unprecedented fortifications could take 25 years and require labor equivalent to the immense effort of building the Hoover Dam. But while a mega project of this scale and complexity can't be completed quickly, it likely represents the city's best hope of insulating itself from rising climate threats. The $52 billion investment in buttressing New York's shores signifies the enormous value of securing the future of America's largest city in an age of powerful storms and rising seas. Subscribe to Tech Blazer for more content. Constructing reinforced flood barriers and seawalls could provide life-saving protection for millions of New Yorkers. During massive storms like Hurricane Sandy, walling off vulnerable coastlines and surge zones can prevent floodwaters from inundating neighborhoods and drowning residents. In 2012, Sandy's floods led to 44 deaths in New York City. Experts estimate a future Sandy-like storm, combined with sea level rise, could threaten up to 800,000 New Yorkers with displacement. Armoring the coastline with levees and barriers promises to save countless lives by spatially limiting where the worst floods can penetrate. In addition to protecting human life, the $52 billion barriers would shield vulnerable city infrastructure worth billions from being damaged or destroyed by storms and rising tides. This includes wastewater treatment facilities, hospitals, transportation networks, and power plants that could be knocked out of commission for months by saltwater flooding. The barriers would also defend New York's over $1 trillion in extremely vulnerable coastal real estate assets. Unchecked flooding could otherwise cause enormous property damage, insurance losses, and disrupted business operations across the city's waterfront. Don't forget to subscribe to Tech Blazer for more videos, but protection on this scale comes at monumental financial and social costs. The $52 billion price tag equals nearly 60% of New York City's entire 2021 budget. 
assembling funds would divert resources from schools, affordable housing, transit, and other priorities. Operating and maintaining the megastructures for decades would also rack up major costs. Beyond the huge capital, critics argue giant seawalls could restrict access to harborfront communities, affect property values, harm water quality, and damage marine ecosystems. Blocking off parts of New York's treasured waterways changes the city's relationship with its maritime heritage. Opponents like environmental groups argue walls encourage unsafe coastal development rather than managed retreat from vulnerable zones. And while the barriers may guard land behind them, surrounding areas could become even more exposed to flooding, shuffling the burden onto marginalized groups. If you're enjoying the video, hit the subscribe button to watch new videos. New York's unprecedented $52 billion project represents one of the world's boldest efforts to engineer climate resilience into a coastal megacity. With billions at stake, the city is pursuing flood defense on a scale never seen in the US, but for a project of this size, some impacts may be unavoidable trade-offs. Constructing 30-foot flood barriers across New York Harbor will fundamentally reshape the city's connection to its waters. Public engagement and equitable planning will be critical as the project advances. If the city can overcome criticism and fundraising hurdles, the mega sea walls and levees may pioneer an extreme model of armoring vulnerable shores against rising seas. But managed retreat from the hardest hit zones could be a wiser future for some neighborhoods. New York now faces difficult choices about how to live alongside encroaching tides. New York City's $52 billion seawall megaproject represents a pivotal moment in how coastal cities are responding to climate change threats. As rising seas and intense storms bear down on vulnerable shores, New York is embracing monumental adaptation measures to armor its coastline. Constructing reinforced seawalls and harbor barriers promises to provide life-saving flood protection for millions of residents and trillions in real estate. Fortifying the coast could help secure New York's future as a thriving global hub even as climate risks accelerate. But a project of this epic scale also faces major challenges. The staggering costs would strain budgets and divert resources from other priorities. Critics have raised concerns about walling off neighborhoods and degrading marine ecosystems. Equitable planning is needed to avoid shifting flood burdens onto marginalized groups. New York's billion-dollar bet against sea level rise represents a turning point. Only time will tell if its monumental seaward defenses can successfully secure the future of an iconic coastal metropolis at the front lines of climate change. New York's coastlines have shaped this legendary city, but now rising seas threaten to submerge it. In response, New York is proposing a $52 billion mega project, epic sea walls and floodgates to seal off its vulnerable shores. This would be the largest climate adaptation in American history. But does walling off parts of New York Harbor, the Hudson, and East River represent a climate victory or defeat? Should the city invest billions to armor its 520 miles of exposed coast, forever changing its relationship with the water? The future of coastal cities hangs in the balance. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.